These box ocarinas are made in the UK by Thornwich Crafts. They're available in a range of keys, this one is a standard alto C, and this is G of fourth lower. They come with a fingering chart, and a nice handmade soft case, and a little wooden label that was tied onto the outside of the package with string. The instruments are made of reclaimed oak and Iroko wood, and have a distinctive boxy shape. Each side of the box is its own flat piece of wood, and there's a shaped piece around the mouthpiece with a hole through it for a string. Although as a wooden ocarina isn't going to shatter if it's dropped, I don't personally bother with the string, but it's certainly nice to have the option. I imagine that using flat pieces of wood to form a box, rather than hollowing out a larger piece, keeps the cost down, and indeed these instruments are available at what I thought was a very reasonable price. The joins between the pieces are obviously visible, but they're very neatly done and nicely finished with rounded edges, and overall I really like the way these ocarinas look. The design is finished off with the key burned into the wood in a sort of runic script, and a maker's mark on the back. These ocarinas are built in the inline style. They use essentially the same fingering as a standard transverse ocarina, but with a layout that I personally find much more comfortable to play. Now, I know a lot of ocarina players say that the transverse style is much better ergonomically, but I've always found it the other way round, and indeed, that's why instruments are produced in both styles, so that everyone can get the one they prefer. The two columns of finger holes are each slightly curved, so that they fall comfortably under where the fingers naturally want to go, and the large flat surface at the back means that the thumbs can still be used to support the instrument when their holes are open. The main difference with the fingering compared to a 10-hole transverse ocarina is that the left-hand pinky hole is a sub-hole. This means that you lose a note from the very top of the range, but gain one at the very bottom, so the C instrument plays from a low B up to a high E. Having this sub-hole is definitely a good idea. One of the weaknesses of any ocarina is that the lowest note, with all the holes closed, is a much weaker sound than any of the other notes. It's unfortunate that this note tends to be the tonic on many styles of ocarina, so having a sub-hole not only adds an extra low note, but also means that the tonic sounds much better. The ocarinas have a tone that I really like. It's a bit more complex than a conventional ocarina, and it does have a tendency to be a little bit airy, especially on the highest notes, but I think it's a very pleasant sound overall, and I really enjoy playing these ocarinas. To demonstrate the instruments, I'm going to play an arrangement of the Welsh folk song The Ash Grove, taken from my book British and Irish Folk Songs Arranged for Ocarina. I'm going to play the melody on the C instrument with ukulele accompaniment, and in the second verse I'll add a harmony part on the G ocarina. <laughs> 